man is a threefold being, like we got right here, spirit, soul, and body. Now, let's, uh, and I know this may be a little technical, not really, but I mean, I want you to understand this. Um, this is not a motivational speech. This is not just a short little sermonette for Christianettes that want to go out and smoke their cigarettes. Anyway, um, <laughs> hey, I, know, I, I get it, you know, like, you know, there are things we fight, all right? All right, we got grace for you. It's just a cute little saying. If you don't like it, don't listen, okay? Now, so man's a threefold being, spirit, soul, and body. Remember that. Now, they all interact. The spirit touches the soul. The soul touches the body. And that's the order it's supposed to be, spirit, soul, and body. A lot of people live this way, body, soul, and spirit. Don't live that way. That's carnal. Carnal, the word carnal is the Greek word sarx, and it literally means flesh or meat, right? And the word carnal is where we get like chili con carne, means meat. And so to be carnally minded means to be meat or flesh minded. That is not, okay, flesh minded is death. Spiritually minded, to be minded by the spirit, to mind the things of the spirit, to think and talk and act out of the spirit is life and peace. No peace, not living by the spirit. You got that? Either or. Okay, now, the spirit. Now, this is what confuses a lot of people, so we're going to try to break this down a little bit to help you understand it because people uh, confuse the spirit and the soul, and they think sometimes what is, what they think, what they think is spirit is actually soul. This is big, especially in the church because a lot of soulish activity in the church, people think that that's a really spiritual church because of the activity. Now, Watchman Nee did a, a really good job in a little book called The Latent Power of the Human Soul, uh, where he talks about some manifestations of the soul as opposed to manifestations of the spirit. And what a lot of people think are manifestations of the spirit are nothing more than manifestations of the soul of the people in the congregation. The soul of people can do a lot, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll be talking about it, but just not today. We don't have the time. So let me give you this. The spirit is the part that must be reborn. That's the real you. That's the part of you that will guarantee you, you will live forever. Okay? Born again or not born again, you will exist forever, somewhere. Okay? Now, the spirit, you, is the part that has to be reborn or it will spend eternity where you don't want to. Okay, it's just that simple. Now, part two, the soul is the part that must be renewed. See? Now, you can lose your soul. You got that? And if you can lose your soul, that means your soul isn't you because you can't lose you, right? But your soul is the, all of the personality part of you. And the soul has to do, and we're actually going to look at this, but the soul is the part that must be renewed. The soul doesn't get born again. The spirit gets born again. The soul gets renewed. That's Romans chapter 12, okay? Now, the body is the part that will be resurrected. So remember, the spirit reborn, soul renewed, body resurrected. 